Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five different recipes for baby food. These recipes are particularly focused with chicken and vegetables. Now you can substitute them with beef or fish or turkey, depending on what you prefer. But today we will be focusing on chicken like what I said. Now, why would you say, why make my own if I can just buy them so easily at the store? For one, when you make your own baby food, you know exactly what's in them. You can buy all organic produce and meats or not. It's up to you. You're rest assured that there's no preservatives or heavy metals. And study shows there's a lot of talk recently that talks about how most of the baby food on the shelf at the store actually has a lot of heavy metals. So why would you give that to your precious little baby if you can spend two hours to make and prep your baby food that will last you for three months. It's not hard, it's not intimidating, and I'm here to help you to show you how easy it is. And I actually have developed a product that is available on Amazon. It's called Preppy Baby Chars. It comes with 12 non-toxic BPA, PVC, phthalates, and lead and cadmium-free jars and lid comes with a recipe booklet that's very easy to follow all tested by my then I wrote this about um, two years ago was tested by my then six-month-old baby as a free bonus it comes with two bamboo spoons and a non-toxic erase marker these jars are available on Amazon if you'd like to purchase them I will link I will leave the link down below and also you can follow the preppy baby Instagram where we post multiple recipes throughout the week and on this YouTube channel we post about one video a week to help you moms out there to guide you and show you how easy it is to nourish our children in a way that does not compromise the nutrition and the quality of their food now enough of that and let's get cooking I start with cooking my meat. This time I am gonna be using ground chicken. I cook it with a little bit of olive oil and you can put any kind of seasoning that you prefer and I cook it until it's done. I like to prepare all of the ingredients and put it in one tray so it's nice and organized and it's faster this way. So I have my ground chicken in here, my cooked quinoa, my cooked brown rice, and the rest of the vegetables that I am going to be mixing and blending together. First combo is potato, green peas, and chicken. So I cook the potato ahead of time because it takes longer. And then when the potato is done, I add the green peas and steam it for another five minutes. Blend with your cooked chicken or whatever meat that you prefer. This will also go well with fish or beef. Add some seasoning that you like and add a little bit of water to thin out consistency. You can store these in the fridge for up to five days or up to three months in the freezer. Personally, I only like baby food stored up until two months. I don't normally go up until three months, but that's just my personal preference. Next recipe is carrots, green beans, and chicken. You can steam this until it's tender or you can also saute them together with the chicken and blend it up until your desired consistency. Third recipe is broccoli, rice, and chicken.
Next one is corn, peas, and chicken. I just use the frozen peas and frozen corn and steam it for about 5 minutes and blend it up with my chicken. These really are the best jars to store your homemade baby food in. They're non-toxic, they're glass, and they're very durable. And when you warm the food out, you don't have to worry about plastic leaking chemicals to your baby food. Last recipe is chicken, quinoa, and carrots. I use red quinoa on this recipe, but you can also just use white quinoa. White quinoa cooks much faster than the red one, but this is what I have for today. Once again, these jars are available on Amazon.com. Click the link down below to purchase them. And I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. And I hope to see you next week.